Yeah, not too bad. Okay, you can hear it coming through. It's not a defined signal. I like to get a nice, well-defined signal. Yeah, probably one of the easiest out of the whole lot. Yeah, it's uh, fairly faint, but you can hear it. It's not a well-defined signal. A lot easier to hear that one on the 7000 so there you go so five targets found in an area that's been absolutely flogged with the 7000 let's go and dig them up and see what we got as I said very faint signal Interestingly enough, that's now turning into a Zed Warble. That is interesting. That means it's fairly chunky. Getting a nice Warble coming in here. I'm going to have to dig deep. Goodness me. No wonder it was such a soft signal. Well, I've just dug down a foot. And uh, finally got it out. That was that tiny little faint signal. And that's quite a good signal now. Here we go. It's chunky. But that accounts for the Z wall because it's just a real chunky little slug. Could be about a gram. There you go, that's number one, that's the first signal. Fairly faint. You can go a bit deeper first off this time. That last one surprised me. Goodness me, I thought it was only shallow bloke. Yeah, this bloke's not too far away. I'd say around about three or four inches. Got him. Got him first scoop. He's small, very small. Yeah, probably about 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, tiny little fella. This was the Z warble signal. Dug out about just over half a foot. Still getting that classic Z warble. I'm gonna have to dig deeper. Coming through a lot louder now. I'm just over half a foot. And I'm almost on bedrock, so surely, unless he's in the cap, I should have him by now. And it's a hammer and chisel job. Oh, you're kidding me. I've tried to scrape out some more dirt and I'm on bedrock and I'm getting a beautiful signal there. I just don't know how far I've got to go down with a hammer and chisel, but I've run out of time today. I'll have to come back tomorrow and do it. And uh, we'll see what it is.
I've decided to go and get the uh, 5000 and put the little safety coil on it because nothing quite has the pinpointing ability of a safety coil. And listen to this target now. <coughs> Yeah, so that's a, that's a nice bit of gold in there. It's quite a strong signal. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to have to get the old uh, hammer and chisel out again and keep at it. I've just managed to get the chisel right down in there and I've pulled up a couple of chunks. Surely that's got it. We'll find out. Yep, that's got it. Right, hey. I think it's in this one. Rightio, so I've broken it down from this big piece down to a couple of small fragments and I think this is the offending object. Yeah, that's a nice piece of gold. That's, well, well over half a gram at least anyway. So that little bloke there was making all that noise. So there you go, that was the third target. Remember, that started with the classic Z warble. And yeah, that's consistent because that's a chunky piece of gold. So that's why I got the warble on the Z. Faint little signal. Take a couple of inches off to start. Just in case, one of those big ones again. I tell you, this bloke's been trying to get away the whole time. You're not getting away. You little mongrel, where are you? And there he is. Oh, 0 0.1, 0 0.15. Tiny little fella. Really shiny though. Hard to get. He didn't want to come out of the ground. Quite a faint little target, that one. Goodness me, that, <laughs> that would be, that'd be 0.05 if I'm lucky, that's ridiculous, that's target number five. And they've come to 2.04 grams. So that's two grams I picked up in an absolutely smashed area, flogged area. They weren't the only ones I picked up in that area yesterday. I picked up another three grams. So five grams in an absolutely flogged area with the right equipment and the right technique. Go really low, really slow, and you'll just keep finding more gold. Thanks.